So the word defibrillator for today, where we look for a word from within the word to kickstart our day. 2 Corinthians 5. Consequently, verse 16, Amplified Version. From now on, we estimate and regard no one from a purely human point of view, in terms of natural standards or value. No, even though we once did estimate Christ from a human viewpoint, and as a man, yet now we have such knowledge of him that we know him no longer in terms of the flesh. Therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ the Messiah, he's a new creation. A new creature altogether. The old previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. My word, that's unbelievable. I read this so many times and every time I read it, there's something more. Therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ the Messiah, we are engrafted in Christ the Messiah. By giving your life to Christ, you engrafted in. You are a new creation altogether. The old previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. But all things are from God, who through Jesus Christ reconciled us to himself, received us into favor, brought us into harmony with himself, and gave to us the ministry of, you say you want to be in full-time ministry? Jesus Christ, when he called us to him, gave us a ministry, a ministry of reconciliation that by word and deed we might aim to bring others into harmony with him. That's your ministry. That's our ministry. It's a ministry of reconciliation where we reconcile people back to the Father. That by our word and and our deed, we might aim to bring others into harmony with him. Watch what we're doing. What are we doing? What are we saying? It needs to be part of the ministry of reconciliation. It was God personally present in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself, not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, but canceling them and committing to us the message of reconciliation, of the restoration to favor. So, we are Christ's ambassadors, God making his appeal as it were through us. We as Christ's personal representatives beg you for his sake, lay hold of the divine favor, now offered you, and be reconciled to God. For our sake, that's yours and mine, he made Christ virtually to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in and through him we might become endued with, viewed as being in, and examples of the righteousness of God. What we ought to be, approved and acceptable and in right relationship with him. By his goodness, not our goodness, by his goodness. How amazing is that? Ah, over to Matthew 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, noble, and good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Heavenly Father, what to pray this morning? For me, Father, a simple prayer. May people look upon us and praise you. Simple, Father. May people look upon us and praise you. Father, that we are your representatives. We are Christ's ambassadors. We are making an appeal through us to reconcile. Father, we pray that through your Holy Spirit you help us take note before any word is spoken, before any deed is done, Father. We pray that you bring to remembrance your word, your heart, your love, and to make sure every word and every action that we have is in focus of our ministry that Christ has given us 
a ministry of reconciliation that by word and deed we might bring others in harmony with you. That, Father, that our noble deeds, that our light will shine before men as they see our moral excellence, no compromising, and our praiseworthy and noble and good deeds. Father, that people by our actions can see that we are seriously connected to you. Father, that they will recognize and honor and praise and glorify you, Father, who is in heaven, not us. That by our deeds they go, that is impossible for men, but only possible for God. That people can clearly see that the things we say and the things that we do totally represent the fact that we have faith in you. The impossible becoming possible. Thank you for your peace, Father, that surpasses all understanding to God, our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus within this truth. Thank you for a blessed day, Father. Thank you for your mercy, your grace. And thank you, Father, that people will see your glory. I ask you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.